hang him off. Might take him out. Just uh, chuck all the sticks on. Doing things the lazy way. Well, that's hot. Very hot. How you want your steaks? They should be nice and smoky too. Serving up the steak and someone's waking up. Well, I have ya. You ruin my shots every time, mate. Every time. You want steak, Arthur? You can have that steak. You want some steak? Yeah, good stuff. Steaky fingers. This is King Brown Country. The main reason why Steve is out on a short weekend trip in the Western Queensland Cape York habitat. He's brought Megan and Arthur the dog along with him for a bit of camping and a bit of herping. Steve lives on the coast so he's used to seeing taipans and rainforest reptiles so it's a nice break for them to get out and enjoy the outback of Australia and find reptiles not found back on the coast such as the mighty King Brown. He's crossing the road. This one's an awkward size to handle. That was closer than it looks. Grumpy mulga. This is a Cape York mulga. I wasn't expecting to see this so soon. The smaller specimens of King Browns, also known as the mulga snake, are very common. And we actually rarely come across the large King Browns. This is because they've been severely affected by the cane toad. These smaller ones can be quick, jumpy, and unpredictable and because of that awkward size they can fling up quite easily because they're very lightweight. As you guys probably know with our previous videos, these are in the black snake family. Meaning this snake's venom can cause paralysis and muscle damage. And fairly uncommon, it can actually cause necrosis around the bite site. Pretty snake, I really should take photos. Whoa! Settle! Another close call. Luckily, I think this was a bluff with a closed mouth. The speed on these smaller Australian snakes are incredibly fast. This is about one of the more feisty mulgas I've got. Alright, well. Hang on, move him off the road. Any cars come along this track at night? Won't run him over. Oh. Oh. He's really making a good go of trying to bite me. Now, a bit of an awkward size. Alright, let's let him go. Rescued this Batman's legless lizard off the road. It's trying to burrow into my arm. Not a snake, legless lizard. That's the ear. Snakes don't have ears. I find these ones have more of an upturned nose than um, the WA ones for whatever reason. Alright, we'll just chuck him off the side into the bush. That's why we rescue him. Cars coming along the road. Off he goes into the grass. Camouflage well. Can't see him anymore already. Alright, what have we got here? This is a spotted python. Anteresa maculosa. Related to the children's python and Stimson's python. The Anteresia family are massive lizard eaters, but they will still eat small mammals quite often. That King Brown would love to eat this snake for dinner. See those beautiful spots and patterns on him. Now this is one of the typical reptiles of the wet season, or at least when it gets warm. It's getting quite hot and humid, but it's still dry as you can tell by all the dead grass. And this is cute. 
it'd be about a foot long. You see his little heat sensing pits on the base of his mouth there, elliptical eyes, very much a nocturnal hunter. These snakes can be found in most habitats, but they love rocky outcrops. They have been seen at cave entrances, waiting in ambush to catch bats as they fly out for the evening. The cat's around here to pick him off. So we'll just take him to the rockery he's heading to. And he's probably going to go hunt some geckos or little mice or something running around in there. See you later.